Uh, my name is Mikko Linnalahti. I come from the University of Eastern Finland and the Department of Chemistry. And uh, the title of my talk today is High Efficiency Light LED Lighting Based on Rotating Molecules. First few words about our chemistry departments. Um, we are located um, at Joensuu campus. We have seven. Uh, seven professors and about 60 members of staff and we are <coughs> organized into four divisions in organic chemistry, organic chemistry, materials chemistry and physical chemistry. We have two main research themes, materials and biomolecules. Biomolecules are studied by the organic chemistry laboratory and materials by the other laboratories. I'm an associate professor in physical chemistry where our expertise is in uh, molecular modeling where we uh, uh, do chemistry by computers. Uh, molecules obey the laws of quantum mechanics and uh, these equations are en enormously complicated. To solve, to solve these equations we do that approximately using, using computers. Um, we have strong in-house facilities, about 3,000 processors co cores, which, uh, which, uh, which day in, day out carry out those calculations, never resting. And in addition to th those, we are also participating in a, in a Finnish grid and cloud infrastructure consortium, where, which uh, provides a, a nat national redistributed computing environment where the participating universities can share their resources. Uh, so where we use those computer resources, here is one uh, recent example of our work, uh, organic light emitting diodes. Uh, these were invented in 1980s, first practical devices uh, were built in 1987 and major breakthroughs were made by um, uh, University of Cambridge in 1990. They have quickly evolved from laboratory curiosity to global industry and are now widely used in televisions, mobile phones and computers. They are bright and um, offer excellent picture quality and can be printed on different substrate such as plastics to make, to make flexible displays. All it's are based on uh, on molecular materials, typically organic carbon-based molecules, and they create light with the application of electricity. They are electrically excited, put to the excited state, and when they return from the excited state back to the, their ground state, they emit light, and if the, if the energy difference between the excited state and the ground state matches the frequency of visible light we see colors. This is process is called photoluminescence and photoluminescence has two, two mechanisms which are fluorescence and phosphorescence. Um, the main difference in fluorescence and phosphorescence lies in a quantum mechanical property of an electron its angular momentum spin, spin of the electron. Spin can be either up, up or down, and it and it um, it can be considered as, as, a, as a rotation of the of the electron around its own axis. Two electrons together define the state of the system, which can be either singlet or triplet. And this is how, <coughs> how, how fluorescence and phosphorescence differ from each other. In, in, in fluorescence, only spins, uh, only singlet states are involved. Fluorescence begins from excitation of the molecule from singlet ground state to the excited state singlet. Then the molecule begins to collide with the surrounding, surroundings, loses energy as, as heat, and, and makes its way to the lowest energy level of the excited state. And then, when it returns back from the excited state to the ground state, it emits 
light, and this is called fluorescence. It's a fast process that takes place, place in, a, in, a, in, a, in nanoseconds. Phosphorus begins in, in the same way. First excitation from ground state singlet to the excited state singlet loses energy to the surroundings, makes its way towards the, the, the lowest energy level of the excited state. But now things get complicated because the excited state has a, also the triplet, st triplet state, and the triplet state lies lower in energy. So in order to reach the lowest energy level, it needs to change its spin state from singlet to triplet. This is, this is uh, forbidden by the laws of physics, but breaking this law is possible. But breaking this law, which leads to inter-system crossing from singlet to triplet, Slows down, slows down the process so that phosphorescence is much slower process than fluorescence. Now this fluorescence, phosphorescence and this different spin state, they lie at the heart of the efficiency of OLED devices. The two spins together define the state and, and, and in the ground state, the highest occupied molecular orbital is, 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 is uh, occupied by two electrons, one with spin up, the other one with spin down, down so to the, together they are paired. When the molecule is excited to the excited state, either one, either one, one of these electrons moves from the highest molecular orbital, uh, orbit, orbital to the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. And now, de depending on, 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 on this pair of electrons, this excited electron and the hole it leaves behind, they can either pair or the spin can be parallel. If, if the spins pair, then, then the resulting state is singlet state S1, and if the spins are parallel, the resulting state is uh, triple state T1. And in the case of fluorescence, uh, the emission uh, takes place when, when the molecule returns from S1 to S0, we have fast emission, and this is a bright state. This is a state that produces light. When the molecule returns from T1 to uh, S0, we have slow emission, we have phosphorescence, we have dark state. This uh, state usually uh, uh, produces less light than heat. And now quantum statics is so that there are four emission paths. Only one singlet path, but three triplet paths. And this sets the upper limit for efficiency for fluorescence to only 25%. Now the question is, how, how can we improve the efficiency? How can we harvest the rest of the 75% of, of, of energy to light production instead of losing that energy as heat? This is an important question in a way that about 20% of glo <coughs> global, global uh, energy production is used for, used for uh, generation of light. So, so even slight improvements in efficiency can, be, can have major impact on, uh, on energy saving. Two approaches have been presented. One is to, to make phosphorescence useful. This can be do done by, by adding, adding heavy metals to the organic molecules, such as iridium and platinum. They, they significantly speed up the intersystem conversion, and, and um, that is due to a quantum mechanical property called spin orbit coupling. Still, uh, the process is too slow, and, uh, and the energy tied up to the to the uh, dark state, <coughs> uh, states uh, um, uh, builds up to damaging level, and that is particularly a problem for, for blue, blue col colors, which have the highest uh, energy among colors. Another problem with this approach is that it's, um, the industry leader, leader emitters are based on iridium, which is one of the rarest elements on Earth. So need, we need to have uh, other, other, other solutions. Another approach is to utilize the triplets as a reservoir for the singlets. This is called thermally activated delayed fluorescence, TADF, 
and it's effective when the singlet and the triplet states lie close in energy. In that case, there is a, there is a thermal population of the S1 states by Boltzmann distribution, and now that uh, the fluorescence is much faster processed than phosphorescence, the emissions become channeled by uh, uh, via the, the S1 state as fluorescence. But what if the energy ordering of S1 and T1 could be reversed? It would mean that in theory all emissions could be channeled via the S1 state, which in, in practice or in theory in theory would mean in practice would be more, it's a bit more difficult, but in theory it, it would it would mean that that uh, we could uh, we could achieve 100 percent in 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 uh, um, efficiency. What I show you next is is um, my recent collaboration with uh, uh, Professor Manfred Both from the University of East Anglia and uh, Dr. Dan Kretschitong from the University of Cambridge. Manfred Bohman is a world-leading world leading expert in organometallic chemistry, and I, I, um, I came to know him through participation in the same FP7 program dealing with preparation of plastics. And Bohman, Bohman made a new discovery regarding these OLED materials and contacted me to, to, uh, to help with the explanation of these, uh, of these um, uh, mechanisms. And Dr. Dan Kretschikton comes from the same. Cavendish laboratory that made the early early uh, breakthroughs in uh, OLEDs in 1990s. Uh, Bohman and his group discovered a new family of linear metal complexes that are well suited for for OLED devices. Um, uh, these are these have three components. One is carbene ligand. Then we have metal, which is typically copper, gold, or uh, silver, and, and, and another ligand marked by X, which can be basically any group. So we have three, three, uh, three moieties in the, in the molecule, metal and two ligands, and, uh, and, and variation by these ligands, ligands uh, uh, results uh, in, 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 in that, in that we, we can control control the, the performance of the OLED, OLED materials. Um, we can calculate, we can calculate the, the properties of molecules and investigate the charge transfer, 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 charge transfer between, between the orbitals and we, we, can, we can simulate, simulate, simulate how the charge, charge moves from the ligand to the, to the, to the metal. And we can calculate the, the energy levels of the of, of the of the excited states and the, and the ground state. And here we see that the triplet state lies lower in energy than S1 states. But if the energy difference is small enough, the the the, uh, the emissions can be channeled through the through the S1 as fluorescence. But if we change metal to gold and extrude to amide, we have we have we, we have we have a very strange behavior, this was reported in science this year, um, this results in rotation of the, of the amide ligand and now, now, the, now the dark triplet state and the bright singlet state behave differently. Dark triplet state uh, favors the coplanar orientation and the bright singlet state favors the rotated geometry. And this now has remarkable uh, consequences on light production by these materials. Um, this, uh, this is a schematic view of energy as a function of, 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 of the, uh, the angle of rotation. If the, if the, if the, if the molecule is rotated, uh, the, the bright, uh, bright singlet state becomes stabilized, and at the same time, the dark triplet state becomes destabilized. As a function of that, at a certain angle, which we do not precisely know, but at, at a certain angle, this S and T, T1 state cross and at this angle we see very rapid intersystem crossing measured in nanoseconds. In practice it means that in these systems all triplets are tra <coughs> transferred to singlets. 
we get we get uh, light from all emissions. So, as a, as a consequence of this, we we uh, we uh, the, the quantum the quantum efficiencies in the quantum efficiencies the roots are are nearly one hundred percent. I will jump a couple of slides because I, I think I'm I, I'm out of time. So so uh, so uh, I jump to the jump to the last slide. Here is doc Dr. Lee Young from Cambridge University, holding in her hand hand uh, an OLED device which is made of made of these new new rotating mole molecules. And below is is examples of light produced produced by, by these molecules. So we can we can approach a, a wide range of wide range of, uh, of, of colors and, and uh, uh, the best devices set, uh, set a new, new record in, in uh, efficiency and, uh, and uh, do so with a very high brightness. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Mikko. Now the questions. So I forgot to tell you before this presentation that we have some exam tomorrow morning. So please prepare some OLEDs and, 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 and this technology. So how do you excite the material? By, 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 electricity, by electricity, for example, by light. Can you generate all colors with the with the system? Uh, uh, almost, not 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 entirely, but we are we are we are working on. We are we can we can uh, we can tune the to the structures of the of the molecule to uh, to uh, to tune the tune the colors, but there is in, there's still some uh, some work that needs to be uh, that needs needs development. But 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 uh, but very close. Uh, what about in the in the past? Elect, uh, OLEDs had a problem with the lifetime and so on. Do you have similar problems here? Uh, uh, not so much. How do you get the different wavelengths out of this system? Uh, by uh, modifi modification of the molecular structure. It, it depends on the on the on the energy levels of the energy levels of the molecules. If, if you, we, ca we can we can change the the ligand substituents to uh, to alter the alter the, the the separation of the energy levels. So it seems that this under the research, do I write that you are now doing the research? Uh, there are already prototypes of these uh, OLED prototypes. materials. So how, when the, the, the final products or products are, how to say, ready in the market? Well, if, uh, I can't say for sure, but, uh, but I would expect not so, to take not so long time because uh, these are now, these are now, now um, these things are now down, down in Cambridge, which has a very, very long tradition in 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 this in this uh, in this kind of work, and 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 they they have have, uh, have connections to uh, industry, and uh, and um, I would expect this is um, something uh, quite feasible in in uh, in, um, in in year or two. Can you uh, clearly point out what is the main difference and main benefit for current situation? Um, improved efficiency, less, uh, less, <coughs> more light for less energy. So, can you comment? Can you make uh, these printable materials? Can you make them uh, ink, inks out of them? Well, this this can be this can be uh, this can be prepared using ink printer. Uh, I would expect so. Yes. Uh, 